Hey, Jimmy. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing wrong with your character. It's just your character looks like somebody I actually know in real life. Somebody I used to work with. He looks almost just like your character. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Blonde hair, glasses, chin structure, the cheek structure, everything. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's kind of scary. So anyhow, just so everybody knows, we this series here is going to be a challenge series. All right. So we are both starting off with zero dollars. And it's going to be pretty much starting off contracts only. And what you'll do is save up money, try to work your way up to getting different equipment so that way you don't have to rent the equipment for those challenge or for the uh, contracts anymore. And then work yourself up to where you can finally buy yourself your farm, buy yourself your fields, that kind of stuff. Um, no renting and no loans. So contracts only to make your money until you can actually afford to purchase your own stuff without contracts in actual, or make money without contracts. To, I would say you're allowed to rent the equipment. But... Yes, rent the equipment, yes, for the contracts. But right. you need to have enough money to where you do not lease to own the equipment. See what I'm saying? Right, right. Something you might struggle with because I'll just outright buy it when I have the opportunity to buy it. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. As soon as you get the money to buy what you want, you can go ahead and buy it. But then you're going to be stuck with low money and you have to keep doing contracts with that machinery to try to keep on going. But just remember, the machinery, um, you're going to have to have fuel and maintenance, stuff like that. So... That's what we're going to be doing. Right. All right. So I think my contract. Uh, do I want to do a harvesting? Or oh, no, I'm not going to do that harvesting. Heck with that. Okay. Ooh. Ooh that's a nice field. Bad. I might do this okay, harvesting. I right need here. A, why can't I go to the vehicles at all? That because. I forgot. You need Never to join mind. your farm for one, <laughs> and two, you don't have any vehicles. No, no, I know what I messed up on. Let's just cancel that out. What'd you do? Something I kind of oversaw. Uh, you know when you're supposed to borrow the equipment? Oh yeah. Like, you know I did this. I did the same exact thing. I kind of forgot that you have to actually borrow the equipment. Yeah, I did the same thing. Of course, it's been a minute since I played this. Yeah. So I just lost okay. that nice harvesting gig. That sucks. <laughs> That would have been forty thousand dollars. I guess I'll just do this harvesting one. Borrow items. Uh, there we go. Yeah. How's your uh, week been for you uh, during work hours? How's my week been? Yeah, hmm, it's not bad. Cause Jimmy was wondering how our week's been. Yeah, I see that. All right. There you go. I opened the gate for you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Well, I just <laughs> completely missed the gate. Good job. Oof. Talk about lag. Holy crap, I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna crash already and it's not even two minutes into the Good game job. Yet. I gotta go to field oh, 23. I just, it's what it did is it froze up like it always does when um you gotta load into a different camera angle uh, for a couple times. Yeah, I did that. I see, I see. Are you seriously stopping at a red light? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm make it a little realistic. Come on now. 
Yeah, well, I tried to beat the yellow. It didn't work. <laughs> and this one, I anticipated it turning green and it didn't work. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I just... I just went through it. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Cheater. Nah. Yeah. So, I'll leave this part up to you, either that or the viewers, all right, in your stream and when I post the video. What year should we finalize the challenge and see who wins the challenge? Like, how many years should we well, go? Should it be three know. years, it really, five it years? It tell you a year in here. No, I'm week. just... I'm. It's the challenge stipulations. I was dragging my heels down the hallway Looking at him Looking at you Thinking what I'd say when I'd see you Maybe I've been gone Should've known what I'd lose No such thing as perfect timing At least that's what I keep telling myself Watching from the heavens little gas prove to catch my breath lay it all out on the table tell you all the things that I should have said I wish I could I'm just gonna leave this dude's gates open I don't care it's losing you he can close him when he gets back he can close the money gets back. I was like, why am I not turning? My header is up against the freaking pole. Posting a pick for all, Jimmy says. Oh, yeah? And I, I think your Discord, maybe? I'm not sure. I yeah, most likely. Oh my gosh, this thing's so slow compared to what my, uh, compared to what my harvester is. I can go like 16 miles an hour safely in mine. Nice. On my single player save. a while to get this field harvested. Might have to do a little montage here to help speed things up. First headland done here. I think I might find a neighbor that likes to work for free <laughs> and uh, get them to uh, work the rest of the field for me while I go down to the shop and get my tractor and trailer. Grab this trailer here. Run this all the way down to the field. And 
I'll load, and then I can try to get the rest of the field done. unloaded and then go find little Billy who likes to work for free who isn't the hey, sharpest Billy, huh? the, who isn't the sharpest tool in the shed and just wants to drive tractors all day hey, that's Tom there oh sorry maybe that's Billy's brother then so for everybody who's watching his stream who also watches my content um, just a little heads up on things to come for iRacing. Um, as you guys probably seen, I did fairly decent in the trucks this past Saturday night. Not so decent in the Cup Series this uh, Sunday night. Well, I was in the running for the playoffs in both series. You gotta be in the top 12 for both series. Well, I, after the finish Saturday night in the trucks, I am currently sitting in the current points in fifth place. In the cup series, I dropped from 10th place to 13th. They take the top 12 for the playoffs. Um, so what's happening right now is that they asked me tonight if I wanted to run in the trucks or in the cup cars for the playoffs. And I asked them, I was like, well, am, am I, I'm not in the playoffs in the cup series, am I? I was like, you take the top 12, Richmond put me to 13th, so I should be out of the playoffs. And that's when they told me that somebody in the cup series is running in the truck series for the playoffs, so that put me back into the top 12. So that would mean I'm in 12th place. I'm right there at the cut line. So I was like, you know, since I'm sitting P5 in the trucks, P12 in cup cars, the cup series, I would rather run in the truck series for the, the playoffs. Because that way I know I don't risk getting knocked out in the first round. So as soon as I said that, they said, well, somebody that's ahead of you in the trucks standings, the point standings, is also doing well in the cup series and they want to go for the cup championship instead of the trucks. So I didn't tell you this, Kyle, but as of right now, even though I am P5 in the current overall point standings for the truck, since that one individual wants to run the playoffs in the Cup Series, that actually puts me in P4 for the trucks. So as of right now, if I continue being in the top four all through the playoffs, when it comes time for the final two races of the season for the playoffs, I'll be in contention for the championship or the, to become the champion pretty much. So, I kind of had a feeling you was leaving something out there. Yes, and that is one of the reasons why I want to do the trucks because as long as I continue to do well in the trucks, I don't, I'm not at risk to fall out of at, you know the top eight, so I'll still make it to the final two rounds or the you know the second to last round, at, anyways. So, there's to think. 
two rounds because it goes top 12 and then after the first round it drops down to the top eight after the second round it drops down to the top four the top four because each round is two races so round one will be two races so that's chicagoland and michigan so after that depending on who is in the top eight those 10 or ninth through 12th will be dropped out of the playoffs and then you'll have what bristol and phoenix i think it was right no bristol and was it phoenix you know i can't remember it was bristol and pocono that's what it was bristol and pocono for the second round so after the second round of those two races whoever's in the top four will move on to the championship round, which will be Phoenix and Charlotte. And whoever has the most points out of the top four at that point will be considered champion. So right now I'm, I'm in, you know, as it stands right now, if I don't lose any spots, I'll be contending for the, you know, the full out championship in the truck series. So I dropped out of the playoff running for cup series. So that way nice. I can still have something to really shoot forward to, you know, or shoot for to the end of the season. couple more passes here and we will be done with this first field first contract Kyle you've already completed one contract for 4800 bucks and you are what 58% done with your second contract yeah so I've already unloaded one Well, you got to think, I'm harvesting at six miles an hour. <laughs> but, yeah. And plus, like I said, with your contract, you're doing the plowing, you're doing the cultivating, you haven't done any harvesting. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer to harvest than it does for the stuff that you're doing. And yours is more of direct money. And I actually have to transport my stuff. And it might take a few loads, you know, trips to do it. But not only will I get the contract money, but I'll also, like I said, you have a certain percentage to complete the field. And after that percentage is done, if you have any grain or whatever the product is left over that you're dumping out, you get the money for that after it says, okay, you're, you're done with the contract. The rest is yours pretty much. So I'll actually get whatever's left over so I'll get the contract money plus whatever's left over in my trailer that I'm emptying out. So let's go ahead and unload this. We'll let uh, Tom here, actually this is Tom's brother, looks like uh, Seamus off of uh, WWE. Um, yeah, not sure who how many other people actually get that reference but it sure looks like Seamus just 
this facial hair isn't red. Um, yeah, so we'll empty this out and then we will get this taken over to Kellogg's where the uh, contract's having us dump off this wheat and we'll see how much money we get for this and also the contract. Sounds like a lot of our list of names in here. Yes, in this map you do have the Kellogg's, you got Apples B, A Apples B, Applebee's, <laughs> I can't, I can't English today. Um, and then you have, uh, well, let's see here, what else do we have? We have, um, yeah, we got Spinnery, got Kellogg's Cereal Factory, you've got, well, it's not anything, I don't know if it's a name, it's Canada's whisk, finest whiskey, I never heard of it, Clutch's Special Brown. Um, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's whatever whiskey fa factory. <laughs> Yingling, lager, 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 however you want to pronounce that. I say lager. A lot of people say lager. Um, so, yeah, you have, uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get off my trailer. Get off my trailer. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh, my header's on top of my tractor. Oh, God. Get off. Get off. The shoes there? Yeah. It, my, my harvester was mounting my tractor. It, it, it thought my tractor's sexy. It really turned it on. I thought it was already on. Yeah. All right. So let's get out of this field and let's get across the map, across the river, and through the woods to Kellogg's factory we go. Man, I'm feeling tired right about now. And I'm sitting here standing up. How are you sitting there standing up? Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just standing up over here watching my computer screen. I come out swinging. Just emptied out our first load. Let's get into our contracts and our PDA here. Let's get up here. All right, complete this for nineteen thousand seven hundred sixty-three dollars. And then, uh, yep, there goes our stuff here. So as of right now, after this saves, you can see. I'm sitting at $22,036, and Kyle is sitting at $4,800. So, not too shabby. Um, I'm not sure what contract... Kyle is kind of AFK right now. I don't know if uh, he's back. I don't think he's back yet. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure. Oh, there sorry. he is. Hey, uh, what's your? once you finish up your current contract, how much money are you going to get off of it? I don't know. I got a lot. Let's see. 
right there. Uh, uh, you will be getting twenty nine thousand seven hundred twenty one dollars. So you're gonna get me by. Let's see, twenty nine plus four. That's what thirty thirty two. Roughly. Yeah, thirty-two. So you're gonna have about thirty because you get the odd hundreds of dollars. So you're gonna have about thirty-three, thirty-four thousand dollars by the end of your contract. So you got me by about twelve, maybe roughly thirteen thousand dollars by the end of day one. But so that's not not too bad. Not too bad. You got me so far. So, but you also completed one contract. You're gonna complete your second. So you've got one contract up on me. So if I'm All able right. to find another contract here, um, let's see. Don't want that one. Not doing a plowing contract. Heck with that. Not doing it. Uh, is there any other? Nope, there's no other contracts right now. So we'll have to uh, see about finding another contract here to try to keep in contention here with this challenge so anyhow guys i am going to end it here for day number one hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode of our challenge and uh yeah i'm gonna leave you here right next to the mighty mississippi the mighty muddy mississippi river and upper mississippi river valley Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. See ya.